Welcome back. Today we are going to debunk the debunkers. The people that try to debunk the Mandela effect. Unfortunately for them, they actually do well, they suffer from it too. They just don't want to realize it, I guess. And Basil Gons, I like you guys. <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't have been able to catch this if I wasn't listening to you, so there you go. I enjoy your show. It's good. But, you know, we don't all have to agree on everything. And since that's the case, I am now going to debunk the debunker. So, yes, you do experience the Mandela effect. And we are going to listen here to... Way back in February 2012, Future Quake. This is episode here. At the beginning, here, we're going to go here because I have it on YouTube. Got this set up. Listen for the Mandela effect, all you affected people. Check it out and see if you can catch it. Yeah, but you know, our ultimate goal, kind of and sort of, is to dethrone. Joel Olstein. Okay, Joel Olstein <laughs> has just That's he's just been ultimate goal. Well, oh, I know, but I mean in in the iTunes sort of sense. Sure. Wait, wait, wait. Who was that? Now, granted, it's back in 2012. Boop. Below us, we have NPR Religion, we have Catalyst, we have Rick Warren's Ministry Podcast. One we of them. One of them. We have I don't know some other stuff. Yeah, but you know, our ultimate goal, kind of, ultimate, and sort of, is to goal. dethrone Joel Olstein. Okay, Joel Olstein <laughs> has... I mean, I can't get by it. I hear the L in there, Gons. Joel Olstein. I'm hearing it. Now, at first I was going to cut you a little slack, because this is back in 2012. And this is a wonderful interview, uh, mind you. Uh, this, I, I had been going back through some of the older episodes, because... I quit listening to the news. I quit listening to Mandela Effect stuff, whatever. I mean, I, I've always been into oddities, and I, I still want to keep my mind active. But I've been going through a lot of audio books. The LibriVox recordings are all public domain. Wonderful. Anyway, so I was going through Joel Olstein back here, 2012. Okay? But then, today, I hear this think like oh well if we don't get like 200 reviews how is it ever gonna top whatever the joel olstein's podcast reviews <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you're going to... down olstein <laughs> what it did not uh, well we didn't beat up reviews <laughs> that's right it only you're going took... down olstein <laughs> oh, what? it did not help and even you might not think like oh well if we don't get like 200 reviews how is it ever gonna top Whatever the Joel Olstein's podcast reviews. <laughs> That's right. It only You're going took... down, Olstein. <laughs> okay, so not only does Basil once again say Olstein, and in the previous one over here, Future Quake, we had Gons back in 2012 saying Olstein, and Gons is the one who later tried to debunk the Mandela effect. But apparently, both of them are still suffering from it. They just don't know it. And even the little audio clip, going down, Olstein, right? Says Olstein. But hold on. We're going to try to find how it's actually spelled and pronounced. J-O-E-L-O L. Oh, wait a second. If I go OL, it goes Olsen, but hold on, Joel O. Osteen? 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 Why, my goodness, I think it's Joel Osteen. It has never been Joel Olsteen. So, boom! There you go. Debunkers debunked. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> God bless. <laughs>